Designing the main line of a center pivot irrigation system involves determining the pipe size, flow rate, and pressure requirements to ensure efficient water delivery to the pivot system. Here are the steps to design the main line. Determine the flow rate. Calculate the total flow rate required for the center pivot system. This is based on the application rate, pivot length, and the time needed to complete a full rotation. The application rate can be determined using the steps mentioned earlier. Multiply the application rate by the pivot length to obtain the total flow rate needed for the entire pivot system. Evaluate pressure requirements. Determine the pressure requirements of the center pivot system. This depends on factors such as sprinkler types, spacing, and elevation changes within the field. Check the manufacturer specifications for the sprinklers to identify the optimal pressure range for efficient operation. Consider any pressure losses due to elevation changes and friction losses in the pipe network. Select the pipe material. Choose a suitable pipe material for the main line based on factors such as water quality, durability, and cost. Common options include PVC, polyvinyl chloride, and HDPE, high-density polyethylene, pipes. Consult local regulations and industry standards for guidance on pipe material selection. Determine pipe size. Select an appropriate pipe size that can accommodate the required flow rate and minimize friction losses. Larger pipe diameters generally result in lower friction losses, but they come at a higher cost. Use hydraulic design charts or software to calculate the pipe size based on the flow rate and desired pressure. Consider the recommended pipe size for the chosen pipe material and the available fittings. Lay out the main line. Plan the layout of the main line to connect the water source to the center pivot system. Consider factors such as field size, shape, and any obstacles or existing infrastructure. Minimize the number of bends and turns to reduce pressure losses. Ensure that the main line is positioned and supported properly to prevent sagging and damage. Install valves and accessories. Install necessary valves and accessories in the main line to control water flow and pressure. This may include isolation valves, pressure regulators, backflow preventers, and filters. Consider the location and accessibility of these components for maintenance and operation. Perform hydraulic calculations. Perform hydraulic calculations to ensure that the chosen pipe size can deliver the required flow rate at the desired pressure. Consider factors such as pipe length, fittings, elevation changes, and friction losses. Verify that the pressure at the pivot end meets the manufacturer's specifications for optimal sprinkler performance. Consider expansion and future needs. Anticipate future expansion or changes in the irrigation system. Design the main line with the flexibility to accommodate additional pivots or modifications if needed. Consider the water source capacity and the potential for system upgrades. Installation and testing. Once the main line design is finalized, proceed with the installation of pipes, fittings, and accessories according to industry standards and manufacturer guidelines. Conduct pressure and flow tests to ensure proper functioning and identify any leaks or issues that need to be addressed.